Oh, hello. Yeah, um, I've been working on this little project, and I thought it might be worth just uh, telling you what I'm doing. So um, what this is, uh, is a very kind of early version of a kind of soap bottle holder. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. You're getting a bit ahead of yourself, Carl. What you need to do is explain why you're doing this. Basically, we've got these bottles that we use, uh, well, the liquid soap comes in it, and we use it for the washing up liquid as well. Um, but they have a tendency to sort of lean back um, at the back of the sink there, and when you squirt them good and hard, you tend to overshoot the sink. So I'm going to lean them forwards a little bit, So the idea is that this is the sort of the lip of the sink here, so that will go over there, and um, this just goes to the back. There's the sort of back wall, you know, of the kitchen, and this will be hollowed out. And it's obviously very early on in the design; it's all very blocky and horrible, and you know, it will be uh, much nicer hopefully in a little while. What I what I want to do is to check out uh, how it looks by just 3D printing a tiny amount. So. Um, I've saved that as an SDL. I'm going to do a plain cut um, and I'm going to cut away. Um, let's do 180. Yeah, there we go. I, I, uh, different, I use so many different programs. Uh, on this one, uh, Mesh Mixer, which if you haven't seen it before, you really ought to uh, if you're doing this kind of stuff. If you're sort of out here, it will give you all kinds of flexibility because if you go quite close in it will there's this sort of ring it will go to where it snaps to different degrees so on 180 degrees trying to get that out there you go and uh, just going to get a little bit of the sticky out a bit just to see uh, does that look about right so we'll have that and we'll do that again uh, except this time we're going to uh, do it so that we just keep the merest bit. So that's all we're going to 3D print, just this tiny little bit. Pointless, you might say. Um, but it's just enough to just sort of hold it up to um, the actual sinking question and see if it fits. Oh, while I think of it, um, yeah, if I let's have a little look at this, and um, I'm going to print it that way around. And you might think, why would you do that? Because it doesn't make sense. You you know you're kind of giving yourself problems. Well, I like giving myself problems. Um, no, the reality is it's probably going to be printed this way up in the end. You know you've got that's the most logical way. So you probably end up having to bridge this. And obviously it's worth just seeing hmm, how well will it bridge. Will it be okay? Not too bad. Um, the printing came out all right, but it needs a bit more of a um, you know a bit less of this. This needs to be a little bit shorter. It's a bit too tight. Um, and I need to make um, a little sort of cut out of the back here, cut the corner off, so it will take uh, account of the um, sealant here, and make room for the sealant. Um, other than that, it's great. The bridging's good. Um, the you know the, the sort of cutaway that that looks reasonable. A um, little bit of play, but that, that seems fine. So. So far, so good. Okay, so um, I probably ought to tell you uh, how I got to this point and then how I'm going to get from here to something that is worth printing. So um, that was that first thing was just obviously check out the dimensions and they seem to work. So uh, obviously the very first thing you do is to do some measurements. Um, so let's, it's just a straightforward, very simple sketch did uh, an extrusion thinking okay I'm going to need a base from that um, and then I did a draft to get this angle um, oh spoiler alert I'm going to need a bigger draft um, <clears throat> that'll come up in another episode I'm pretty sure anyway well we'll, we'll come to that because I, I know the future because I've lived through this and then just extruded from that no need to do a fresh drawing uh, or a sketch rather that's that's all fine um, that is a sketch for doing the hollowing out this bit here and so that's just yet another little chamfer good old chamfer it's amazing what you can do with chamfer so still looking very blocky and boring but then um, you know you add a fillet or two 
or four and it's sort of starting to look, oh you know a bit more like the shape of the actual um pot really. so that's just a, a shell command very useful so you don't have to do the you know the whole thinking of what shape you want um a technique that is underused i think um so we made the outside shape and then just made it hollow by using the shell command brilliant and it automatically understands the shape of everything there so it's hollowly out in a useful way inspect section analysis So I've just turned on the section on that, so you can see the way that that has just hollowed out everything beautifully evenly, so there's enough um, substance to the whole thing. Um, very useful. Um, and then just, uh, you know, a bit more rounding out. Uh, I'll turn that off. So that's a suppressed sketch for the text, and that's uh, the extrusion of the text, and that's an unsuppressed sketch of some text and the extrusion of the text so i'll show you this one which is the soap one um i think washing up liquid is the one that i printed out and live with it for a bit uh there's going to be a part two when we actually look at how it was to live with and the improvements that are going to be made but you can see it's a, it's a reasonable start